Right now on News 6 at noon, a judge just denied bond for a suspected serial rapist in Windermere. Prosecutors have charged him with having sex with a woman while she was unconscious. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Mormouth. We've been following the story since it broke last year. Police still say there could be more victims who don't even know this happened to them. New 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us live from Windermere. So, Mike, how many victims are out there? Justin, at this point, we just don't know. Authorities say that they have gathered enough evidence to arrest Daryl Patterson for raping two women, one here in Orange County, another in Hernando County, about 50 miles from here. But they say there may be other women out there who are either too afraid to come forward or don't even realize that they were assaulted. What's your name? Daryl Patterson. Four years after authorities say videos first surfaced showing Daryl Patterson having sex with women who appeared to be unconscious, the Windermere man has been charged with sexual battery. This morning, a judge granted the prosecution's request to keep him locked up without bond. Mr. Patterson will remain in the Orange County Jail until the resolution of these charges, so you are safe. State Attorney Jeff Ashton is hoping other victims will now feel comfortable coming forward. Last year, authorities began trying to identify the women seen on the videos. Investigators have since spoken to several of them. They believe others may have been raped by Patterson and not even know it. If you are a young woman who knows this particular uh, individual and you experienced uh, a loss of time when you were in his presence, you uh, fell asleep, you woke up in an odd place, and you felt like something had happened, you may be on these tapes. When police first questioned Patterson about the videos last year, he claimed the sex was consensual and denied drugging anyone. Since then, authorities have been building their case against the 49-year-old. Now, investigators are not saying how these women may have become unconscious uh, before Patterson allegedly assaulted them when they searched his house last year. Uh, one thing they were looking for is drugs. Now, police here tell us that they believe Patterson may have actually shown these sex videos to some of his friends. If you've seen this video, uh, detectives really want to talk to you. Justin. Mike, thanks so much. We continue our team coverage on this story with what's next in the investigation. Mark Lehman went with News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer to talk about the challenges that lie ahead and where to go from here. It took police more than 17 months before they were able to arrest Daryl Patterson, charging him with sexual battery. But with many more potential victims still out there, investigators likely still have a long road ahead. With word that Patterson will remain behind bars as his case awaits trial, it's now up to the state attorney's office to build that case against him, something that may be difficult. These types of cases where you've got, where you've got a date rape situation or somebody who's been drugged, they're difficult to prosecute. News 6 legal analyst Stephen Kramer says even though police have identified a victim in some of the recordings confiscated from Patterson's home, how the case moves forward will have much to do with that victim's testimony. How are they going to prove that the victim didn't give consent? And, you know, when their memory is spotty, that's going to be part of the challenge. Detectives say that woman came forward not knowing what happened until police told her what they saw on video. They also say there are more victims out there who haven't been identified. If they don't see that video, then they're never going to be able to find out that they were the victim of a sex crime because they don't remember. But exactly what's contained in those recordings remains much of a mystery. Kramer says the state could present a much stronger case when the evidence against Patterson is revealed in court. If those turn out to be the facts here and these videos are more extensive, you know, this may be a much easier case for the state to put forward. In Orange County, Mark Lehman, News 6.